More on what to expect at the talks on Saturday. Let's cross live now to France 24's Valérie Decoup. Valérie, good to have you with us with us this morning. So more than 130 countries on Friday agreed to prioritise food and agriculture in their national climate plans. What exactly are we spe- expecting on Saturday? Will there be any major announcements, do you think? Well, one of the major announcements we are expecting today would be a pledge on renewable energy and energy efficiency. So that pledge could see countries committing to triple renewable energy capacity by 2030 and doubling the rate of energy efficiency by 2050. That energy package is bound to be one of the central elements of this COP. According to the International Energy Agency, uh, those two pledges could get us a long way in the fight against climate change, along with cutting methane emissions, uh, increasing electrification, ramping up renewables and uh, energy efficiency could actually help us deliver nearly 80 percent of the emission reductions we actually need by 2030. That package does have brought support, but we will have to see how many countries actually get on board. Some European countries, vulnerable nations, have said that they would only support the energy package as long as there's also an agreement on phasing out fossil fuels. Discussions on that are also peaking up here at COP28. 106 nations have signed a statement in support of a fossil fuel phase out, including countries uh, in Europe, Africa, and the Caribbean. Uh, France has has already floated a plan to help emerging economies move away from coal capacity. We're also expecting more details on that proposal later today. And we're also looking out for Colombia. Colombia will also be announcing a plan uh, for a fossil fuel non-proliferation treaty later today. Now, Valerie, we spoke about this a little bit yesterday. Joe Biden isn't in Dubai, but we will be hearing from his vice president, Kamala Harris, later. What are we expecting there? Well, it was a last minute decision for Kamala Harris to come here to Dubai. She had no plans to attend the summit. Uh, but the announcement came after criticism of Joe Biden's decision uh, to skip the summit. So U.S. climate envoy John Kerry is in Dubai as well, along with uh, two other climate and energy advisors. Uh, and the presence of the U.S. at COP28, of course, is crucial as one of the world's biggest uh, polluters. The White House has said that their uh, ambition is very clear, referring to uh, Joe Biden's agenda on ramping up clean energy with the Inflation Reduction Act. But some climate observers do have doubts over uh, the U.S. uh, position on phasing out fossil fuels, another contentious uh, potential deal here at COP28. So far, the U.S. has been giving mixed signals. Officially, as part of the G7 group of nations, the U.S. has supported a phase out of unabated abated fossil fuels only. That means that refers essentially to coal, to to, uh, fossil fuel power plants without carbon capture and storage technology to trap emissions. Uh, But there is no, it's no secret to anybody here that in the name of energy security, fossil fuel giants like the U.S., like the UAE, Saudi Arabia, are in support of increasing fossil fuel investments. So a lot of people will be listening in very closely to what Kamala Harris has to say, potentially to get cues on where negotiations could be heading next, next on fossil fuels. Valerie, for now, thank you so much. That's France 24's Valerie de Kimp.